This simulation shows a transfer shoot with an adjustable impact wall. The impact wall moves backwards during the simulation. This leads to an eccentric loading of bike material on the receiving belt. The eccentricity can be seen in the front section of the receiving belt conveyor. In this section, the bike material is not colored by velocity but by its vertical position. Particles with a higher altitude are colored in red and pink. This can be used to determine if the bike material is loaded mainly to one side. Eccentric loading of bike material will lead to a very unstable running belt and will result in belt mistracking. A well-placed impact wall or well-designed transfer chute is crucial for a reliable operation of a belt conveyor. The eccentric loading of bike material is only one thing that can be analyzed using a DEM simulation for transfer chutes. More examples like this will follow on our channel. If you are interested, please consider subscribing. And thanks for watching.